We're now in what might be the feature match, match of the evening, and that's Wade Chalice, a spectacular wrestler from Swearing from the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, versus Leroy Kemp, representing the University of Wisconsin. This is probably the match most people here have been looking forward to the most. That's Chalice, which is back to you now. He's also the slightly of the taller of the two, and these are two of the finest wrestlers in the, probably the finest weight class here, 163 and a half, that's four quality wrestlers at least. Chalice, a spectacular pinner, two-time national champion player. He's won a host of titles, including a major international meet in Tbilisi, Russia, where he was voted the most valuable wrestler in that tournament. Kemp, just his impressive credentials, a two-time Ohio State champion. He was NCAA champion this year as a sophomore with 39 and 0 record. And has an impressive freestyle record as well. Kemp was just worn there for stalling early in the match, less than a minute into the match, the referee Carl Sturman. And he'll have to be more aggressive, though, as many of you know. Kemp has been, most of his career, a somewhat defensive tile wrestler, a counterpuncher, if you will, in the boxing game. This match is interesting. As I mentioned, Chalice has won six of the seven bouts by falls. Losses, close decision to Stan Zidic from Slippery Rock. Kemp is undefeated. He has four foul, four, five foul falls plus two decisions. Oh, beautiful move by Chalice. He takes a two-to-nothing lead now. Kemp would dearly love to win this match. A victory here clinches the title form. A loss will probably give the title to Wade Chalice. Under the complicated rules. Another beautiful kill, and as I mentioned before, when the back is exposed in this style, even if it doesn't even have to be touching that, but if it's exposed, it's a two-point maneuver, and that's what Challenge just did there. He has a 4 nothing lead now, and Kemp has the leg. And it is 45 to go. Challenge looks strong so far. Working his way back, he has another takedown. Notice how he gave Kemp, like practically kicked his leg out for Kemp to take. And then countered beautifully for another takedown, a 5 nothing lead. Now, working on a lock there. I don't think he has anything. If he doesn't, in a couple more seconds, they'll break and put both wrestlers on their feet. And that's what they're doing. A look at the scoreboard shows the entire story. Leroy Kemp is down 5 to nothing. The ex-Shard Ohio wrestler needs points. He's trying here. Aggressive attack, but Chalice counters it beautifully. Chalice, a consummate counterpuncher of wrestling here. Five to nothing lead. His loss this afternoon to Zizek was indeed a controversial one, for it appeared in some of eyes that Chalice might easily have been awarded a few more points in that bout, but it was not to be. We've seen a little more action here in the third period as Kemp is beginning to attack. He knows he needs the points. Superb wrestlers, signed for the same spot on the Olympic team. Kemp with the leg. Again, though, Shalif almost seems to give that leg. And another point for Shalif in a 6 to nothing advantage. And Kemp looks a little tired. Kemp's decision is easy. 7 to 5 yesterday, and this was going to cause a little trouble in the round robin total here because with Zizek beating Chalice and Kemp beating Zizek, and now it looks like Chalice will take Kemp. Interesting final score. I think Chalice, with his large number of pins, will probably win the trial if he can defeat Kemp here. probably has not had the fireworks that many anticipated. But again, as we mentioned, yeah, both boys being... counter-wrestlers who might have anticipated this kind of outcome. Chalice, very active. We're down to the last minute now. Chalice meeting six to nothing. He gives the leg to Kemp this time. 
Wizards didn't know. Cannon able to make a takedown here. Now with the legs in a little bit better position. Does him no good. Challenge just rolls right out. Last 35 seconds. Chalice allows it, and it's one point for Kemp now with the first takedown, six to one advantage for Chalice still though. But Kemp now scores at least. He's got to turn him. That's 15 seconds here now. Last five seconds now. Wade Chalice is going to win this fight by a six to one score. your winner, Wade Chalice, formerly of Clarion State, now of the Hawkeye Wrestling Club.